Hi, my name is Tom Mietzel, a licensed real estate broker in the state of Wisconsin, and welcome to our seller video series. Today we're going to talk about offers. So the day has come, you've got an offer on your property, you know, let's party. Woohoo! Now you have to evaluate that offer. Now the offer is generally going to be, unless you're in a super hot market or you're priced extremely competitively, it's probably going to be less than what you're asking. In many cases, for instance, let's say you have a $200,000 home and you get an offer. In many cases, that offer is going to be $180,000 or $190,000. Usually what the buyer is trying to do is get you to split the difference. And if you're comfortable with that, that might be just fine. So if they offer $180,000 and you would be willing to accept $190,000, you could counter them at $190,000. They offer 190 and you'd be willing to accept 195, you count them at 195. One of the things I recommend is that even if you're willing to accept the price, you counter them just a little bit, even if not on the price. Perhaps you just counter on the closing date or something because if somebody makes an offer on your property and you accept right away without any type of counter, they think they could have done better. The buyer thinks that, well, I should have worked them for more money. I should have uh, gotten a better deal. So it's a mindset game from the buyer's perspective that you as a seller have to pay at play. So be sure that you counter, even if it's something very minor, uh, at least have your realtor call and ask him if they'd be willing to do X, Y, Z, to change the inspection dates, to uh, pay a little bit more money, whatever, so that the buyers realize that you're right at the point where you can't go down anymore and, and where if they continue to try to nibble at the price or at the terms, you're not actually going to sell them to home. So remember, if somebody's offering you a lower price, in many cases they're trying to split it in the middle, which we do pretty regularly with our clients because they say, okay, that's a price that we can live with. Uh, if many cases if the price is just simply too low, then what you're gonna need to do is counter up significantly higher. So if you have a $200,000 home and somebody offers you 150, obviously you're not gonna take 150. Uh, so you might counter back at you know, 195, saying okay, we're willing to talk about it, but we're simply not willing to uh, completely get killed in this deal. So keep in mind that not every deal is going to come together, but it's been my experience and statistics bear us out that the best offers come early in the listing. The longer you wait, the less you're generally going to take. So when you get an offer that you can work with, try to work with that offer and put something together because those first offers tend to be the best price.